Hey guys, Chris with Late Night Lava here. I got another challenge lock video for you. This time it is on this challenge lock that I recently got from Pickaholic. It is titled Leonidas. This is Spartan on the key. It looks like a, a wiser bow. And the QA looks like a wiser as well. Slash quick set. So we're going to see if we can get into it. It's a, uh, a six pin. We can see that he did definitely get into the top. We're going to see if we can get into it. This is my first attempt. He is mummied. So we'll see if at the end we might open it. Might not. Let's see if we can get into this bad boy. I'm using the 70 thousandths homemade pry bar. Top of the keyway. Now I don't have any serrations on this thing yet, so it does like to slip out once in a while, but we're going to see if we can avoid that. And uh, let's see what we get. Using what my new uh, Dangerfield Praxis and 23,000, so I did all the 23s in black and the 15s. Or, yeah, 15s in red. I think they're 15 thousands. Yes. 15 thousands are in red. So, let's see if we can get into this. Straight to the back. Click off six. Five. Off four in the counter. Three, two, nothing on one. I was so oh, click on three or four, I think, as I was going through. I got to click off it. Oh, there's a false set. Five, a little bit deeper. Might need something just a little bit deeper. Lots of crunching going on. And he's got grub screws on the top, so it's just threaded part way, we know that for sure. And I wouldn't be surprised if those threads go the whole way down through. At least on a few of these. Lots of crunching going on. Some major counter rotation on three, I think it was. Not sure if I said this is my first attempt on this one. I don't know if I said that already. But most of my challenge lock videos, I always try and do it on the first attempt. For any of you that haven't seen my previous videos and heard me say that almost every time, I always try and pick it on camera for the first time. It might make for a longer video, but 
that way it's it's real it's not rehearsed I don't know the binding order I don't know what's in it for pins I know nothing about it it's my first encounter for all intents and purposes I have no idea what's inside that's just uh, nothing against guys that, that, that pick it a few times that, that's great makes for a shorter video and we still get to see them pick it and we get to see what's inside but it's just uh, something I decided to do I was going to try and pick them on camera for the first time now granted there is a few locks that I have attempted on video several times didn't get it open and just you know turn the video off but those ones will be coming up um, one of them is a uh, that's this bad boy right here Pikmin 1977 I got a oh, that's what I get for talking just lost it Got a Ruko Flex Core from Daz Evers and a couple of challenge locks from him. The Ruko I've picked, I don't know how many times trying to get into it, haven't got it yet. So when I do get those, I, I will let you know it's not my first attempt. It's probably been like 20 attempts on that Ruko. Just draw a tinge wrench. I'm getting some major counter rotation off two, I think. That's when I keep losing my tension. So I'm gonna try and hold this in a little tighter. Get that pin set. Okay, there we go. That was number two, I got him. Number one, open. Yeah, number two is uh, feels like a real deep spool. That's when I kept losing tension. Get these out of the way. And zoom out here. So there's the key. Uh, yeah, I'll demummy it just because. Get a knife here. You ground off uh, the codes there, so still pretty good. Pretty nice, uh, low cut in the back. So let's take her apart and see what's inside. I can tell you for sure it is definitely not stock pins in the back of it. it might be a stock key, but definitely not stock pins. through and plug follower there we go so let's see what we got looks like a serrated on one V 
very deep spool on too. Yep. Just like I suspected. And a serrated spool on three. Serrated spool on four. Five is a serrated T pin. And six is another serrated. You can see that. Come on, focus. There we go. Number five. I really like that. Take a look at that. Some nice looking pins. We got a serrated T pin. So there's our key pins. Uh, and they worked under the core. Yes, there certainly is. Uh, get a pointer here. Let's see. I'm gonna pick. So, come on, focus. All right. One looks standard. Two is undercut. Very deep. Three is undercut. Four threaded. Five standard. Six is threaded. Nice sharp threads. Number two, that's some really deep undercutting there. Nice lip down in there. Might be a bit oversized too. Let's see what we got up top, shall we? We want to take the shim out. Might help. pin a serrated T pin <coughs> and it came out just like that copper spring two is a serrated spool I believe it came out like that are standard or the same rather I don't know if they're standard or not very nicely serrated Get three serrations on that come on focus there we go beautiful beautiful pins there picaholic another copper spring And we'll go from the back for these ones. Number six, another serrated. And we got a different spring. Oh, and we just lost five. It came flying out at high rate of speed. But that is a double serrated. There's a spring from five. A little short spring. A little, let's get another. Maybe it might be a brass on number six. Take a look inside the Bible. And. I am not seeing any threads. So I was wrong. No threads in the Bible, but there definitely was in the core. those pins if this thing will focus I'll zoom out and I'll bring the pin and tray to the camera so we got a serrated 
T pin. You got a serrated key pin. Uh, it's upside down. Deep, deep spool key pin with a spool serrated driver. We got a serrated with another spool serrated, serrated key pin and driver pin, serrated T pin with a double spool of, uh, yeah, we'll call it serrated, maybe a narrow, narrow uh, spool. Number six, we got a serrated key pin and a serrated driver and I believe it was five pickaholic the number five driver that came flying out but it's a it's pretty symmetrical top and bottom so hope it went in like that so I think there's all the pins thank you very much pickaholic for the awesome lock great fun and uh, still got a few more I need to get through uh, depending on when I up upload this I might already have it picked I just haven't uploaded it yet, but uh, thank you very much for the vlog, sir. For the rest of you, thanks for watching. Uh, please like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, stay safe, have fun. Bye.